Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cyborg Gaming. We are here today for part 6 of our Formula 122 driver career mode. You guys are going to find out who I signed with in just a moment. We're going to sort out the schedule and just some little things regarding the channel. A lot of new subscribers um, from the last video. So thank you so much for subscribing. I always appreciate that. Make sure you guys drop likes on the videos. We're finally at 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. It's been a grind for the last uh, two years and haven't seen much of a payoff. So this is the first time I'm actually experiencing some actual growth. On my channel but thank you for all your support smash the like button share with your friends all that stuff uh, we're sorting out the schedule here and while I'm doing that you guys can take a look uh, I'm just gonna talk about the videos moving forward uh, my plan for these driver career mode videos I think I said this in the first part of the driver career mode series but they are gonna be a lot shorter than I guess most other videos that you guys see online I figure most people aren't sitting around for 30 minutes to watch these videos they probably skip through it or don't even watch it so uh, for the driver career mode I'm gonna do a 10 race season with short qualifying and a medium uh, race length so you know 13 to 16 laps like the one stoppers um, just so it's more fast pace and takes up less of your time. However, if you guys do want to see longer races and all that, go check out the My Team series. That is full qualifying, um, long race sessions, not like the full ones, but you know, long, like 30 ish laps, depending on the track. So there is something for everyone on this channel. If you prefer the shorter length content, stick around and watch the My Driver Career stuff. If you prefer longer races and longer content, I don't know, maybe you're eating dinner or whatever, uh, you can go watch the My Team stuff or you can watch both. It's up to you. Uh, my goal is to try and make as much content for as many people as possible and that's what i'm doing with these two uh different formats but of course this one's just going to be a little bit longer just for this episode because i need to explain that to you guys just so you guys know and let me know in the comments down below uh what you guys think of the formats if you guys want to see changes to it or anything along those lines even if you like it let me know in the comments it helps me out when i'm deciding uh what to do with these videos and again i thank you guys for your support and for those of you who are new welcome to the channel guys but the 10 races we have chosen for this first season of our driver career mode we got saudi arabia my favorite track to drive of course we got imola miami i haven't driven that track a lot but i did enjoy it in the my team video that i did recently canada my home grand prix always going to be in the schedule silverstone a classic Paul Ricard, Spa, uh, Zandvoort, which I have not raced in a while, Singapore, uh, just to keep get a street circuit in there, make it a little tricky. And to end off the season, we're going to end it in Brazil. However, you guys have waited long enough to see who I've signed with for the season. Now, I did say earlier that I did not want to sign with a top tier team. So, you know, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, those guys. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to be fighting from the very bottom, not even contending for points. You know, I want to have some good races, um, maybe get some points. And I did choose McLaren for my driver academy. So when you sign with the driver academy, you get extra claim points. Maybe I should have changed the driver academy because McLaren is like the only one in that circle. However, uh, I'll give a little drum roll, maybe add a sound effect, whatever. But I have signed with... Of course, uh, McLaren, and our teammate and is going to be Lando. It's kind of funny because like Lando's the same age as me, which is a little weird. But um, Lando's going to be my teammate. Danny Ricardo, I don't know. He'll get pecked up in free agency at some point, uh, maybe later on in the season when contract negotiations come up. But McLaren's our team. They're personally my favorite team on the grid. But we'll see how the season goes because Lando has a pretty high rating. And in real life, he is a great driver. He's just not in the best machinery at the moment. So we're going to be competing with a lot this season. And I'm going to be focusing more on the comparison between myself and Lando versus uh, how we're doing in the standings. I think I'll just add a little bit of a different dynamic compared to the my team stuff. But we are into the first race of the season. Finally, 
we are in qualifying at Jeddah and this video was recorded after update 1.07 however I didn't really know that at the time I knew 1.06 came out and some stuff was a little different but apparently after 1.07 there were even more changes to the AI or handling or something uh, but I definitely felt a lot slower I don't know what it is uh, the traction it's a lot harder to get traction and the hard tires on some tracks are like they're not even usable like even if you get them up the temperature it's just lock like locking up all day every day so this qualifying is okay coming in through the final turn Esteban Ocon puts the fastest lap currently Mick Schumacher beats that and usually on this track I get around a 129 but we got a 130.8, which for me, I think is a little slow. I'm going to go back to my, my team and see how I did qualifying there. Yeah, the cars are going to be a little different in terms of pace, but it should give me a relative idea of how much slower I am. And now we got Lando coming through the final turn. He puts up a 129.5, which is 1.3 seconds faster than me. And then once all these other drivers go out on their hot lap, we're down into P15. Uh, I am playing on a 95 difficulty, just to be clear, for this one. My team, I play on 90. I just figured uh, I'm not taking this one as seriously, so I'm going to raise the difficulty to give me a chance to improve and all that. But maybe I was a little over ambitious. We will see how this race goes by the end of it. But we're on our second hot lap here in this short qualifying. This is the only qualifying session. Um, for this race we're three tenths up on the previous lap green sector one green sector two 121 coming out of the final corner we're p18 behind land stroll and we come in just almost five tenths better than our previous hot lap and we are going to qualify in p17 like that is so bad especially like the mclaren lando qualifies in p7 with a 129 Point three, uh, he's over a second in pace, so we got a lot of work to do. But let's get right into this race, guys. The first race of the season. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Verstappen, George Russell and Hamilton, Norris, Bottas, Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher, Esteban Ocon and Joe. Sonoda, Vettel, The Engineer, and Lance Stroll, Albon, and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Not a good qualifying. I mean, I feel like I put up half decent laps. The car, I'm not used to the car. It's a little bit worse than... Uh, and the my team car and the online multiplayer car so the car has work to do i have work to do personally because even if the car is bad lando is still a second faster than us uh, or at least that's how fast he, or how much faster he was than us in qualifying but we're gonna see how fast we are at race pace you know lap over lap we're gonna lower the fuel load here a little bit but we got five laps on the softs eight laps on the mediums let's get into this race guys let's see maybe we can move up a few spots and potentially depending on how much better my race pace is maybe we could get into the points we got five red lights and here we go this driver crew mode is underway we're off to decent start Vettel looks to cover us off we're gonna see if we can launch it up the inside 
Oh, we're bumping wheels. Please don't, please don't smash me out of the track. Collision warning with Galaxy, but we moved up how many spots? We moved up bare spots. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I like to see. But we get a good start. Good start. We sneak up the inside. Just dive bomb the first turn. Very risky move. But that is five spots for, uh, I was about to say Cyborg Racing, for McLaren. More importantly, myself. I guess I have to start worrying more about myself in this uh, career mode versus the team. And the team's still very important. But, um, we're trying to beat Lando. You know, we got embarrassed in qualifying. We're probably not going to beat in this race. But that's okay. And so we are catching up to the middle of the pack here. Maybe we can get some points if there's a collision or something like that. If someone looks to go up the inside. Alright, Esteban Ocon's gonna pass us here. He's gonna have DRS. Maybe we'll play some DRS games with them. We'll get DRS on him down the main street. Oh, we're getting double overtaken. No, not again! Oh, no! Yeah, maybe we can get Ocon into turn one. We're gonna go up the inside on Ocon. Oh my god! And Gasly slips up. I think he locked up into turn two. Oh, let's go! A double overtake into turns one and two! Oh my, what a recovery! Gasly made a mistake and we pounced on that opportunity! Oh god. Oh god, we're wheel to wheel with him right now. We're racing into the pit lane. Dude, you gotta give me space! What? Oh, okay, he's not even pitting. Okay, uh, that changes a lot. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get uh, a good turn in here. One. Let's go. Okay, we got optimal. Please don't tell me we have to change a wing or anything. Okay, let's go. 2.4 seconds. That's what I like to see. A lot of people going in to pit this lap. I'm not sure who is going to pit, but there was a lot of people pitting. We gotta light up these tires. Come on. What? We have wing damage? Oh, come on! I guess that wasn't worth replacing in the in the pit lane. We probably lose more time, especially in a short race like this. Well, we're gonna have to deal with this damage for the rest of the race now. What did we get wing damage? I think probably with Oka when we were coming out of the last turn there. But nice, now we're gonna suffer here. Oh, this is not gonna be a good race, man. Yuki Sedota is coming up on our rear. Teammate Lando. In the he's in the pits. In the pits. The damage doesn't feel too, too bad. Oh, my high speed corners. It feels really bad. Okay, Lance Stroll is coming up on us. Yuki Sedota is trying to pinch us into the last turn. Okay, we got DRS on Sedota. Oh, my. What the heck? I think Sonoda just had an engine issue. What the heck was that? Oh shit, I paused it. Oops. And here comes that Savannah Oka. There's not much I can do at this point. Oh, maybe not. I got DRS and ERS. How far is Oka? Oh god. Oh, don't give me a dangerous re entry, please. Oh my god, who's this? Light Stroll is with us as well. Holy, this is a lot of racing into this last turn. I go down the second gear. You better give me space, man. Okay, he's not gonna have DRS here, so I'm gonna overtake him. Oh, what? How do I not have DRS? Okay, whatever. We need the battery. We're gonna use the slipstream. We're gonna get past the Oak on. Going into turn one. Oh, we have to go all the way down to gear one there. That's a break late. Okay, we're still in P13, not bad. Sorry for P17. And we got wing damage. Oh, and Ocon has a mechanical problem. Thank you. That's what you get for hitting me. Okay, he's got a mechanical problem, but he's still coming right up our rear. 
But here comes Lance Troll. Oh no, he jumped back a little bit. Okay, now he's gonna overtake us here. Here, you can take. You can have that. I will take DRS off you. In this street here. And I will take that position back. Playing DRS games with Lance Troll. Fellow Canadian. We're technically on Maltese in this one, but uh. I'll say I'm half Canadian or something. Okay, here comes Alex. Wait, what? Where did Alex Albon come from? Alex Albon has joined this battle for P13. And we are gonna break late, go to the outside, and I'm gonna have DRS here. Let's go. We're gonna run away, let Albon and Stroll battle for P14. Okay, this is your final lap. So we're on the final lap of the race. We're, on, or we're in P13, my mistake. Albon is a second behind us now. Good. Okay, he's gonna be bottom with Lance Stroll. So hopefully we just cruise into a P13, which I don't know. I may have to lower the difficulty just a tad. Right now I got it at 95, so I think I might have been uh, a little over my head on that one. My my team okay, is at 90, so I don't think it would be too much okay, harder. But also this is a worse seconds. car. But the fact that Lando was a second ahead of me is uh, not the greatest, and this is probably like the track I'm best on as well. So it's only going to go down from here if I keep it at 95. We'll see. I may try one more race at 95 and see how that goes. Might be a bad race, but stay tuned for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alex Albon is right here. How did he catch up? This is what I'm talking about. AI is really, really good and broken in this game, as I'm sure all you F1 fans know. Okay, we gotta use all the battery we have left here. We aren't letting anyone pass us. We're not letting anyone pass us. We're gonna guard the inside. Down the final straight here. Let's go. Okay, we are gonna get a P13. That's what I like to see, kinda. I mean, in these conditions, you started P17, so uh, that is... I'm happy with that result after that race, to be honest. And we got driver of the day, too. Let's go. That's more claim points for us. Hopefully, McLaren isn't too mad at us. Lando probably so, finished up in P5-ish area, I would think. I think he started P7. All right, so we finished P13. Starting P17, we got driver of the day, but P13, we need to start getting to the points. So we're going to see what the difficulty um, later on. I think I'll keep it at the same difficulty for next race. And if it's even worse, which I think it will be. Because, again, this is probably the track I'm best at. And for going P13 at my absolute fastest pace, that is not good for the future. Um, I want to be somewhat near Lando. Maybe like half a second off. I feel like as long as I'm in the points, I feel like. So we'll see next race. Next race, we'll keep it at 95. But... Charles Leclerc is the leader right now. These are the standings, basically. And then Constructor's standings. Take a look at that quickly. Um, we are P4, so best of the rest, technically speaking. Um, I mean, Lando has all the points, so maybe Lando's just best of the rest. But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below if you want to see any changes to the driver career mode. Stay tuned for my team as well. If you haven't seen that, hit the playlist. You guys can watch that. And I will see you guys for part 7 of our driver career mode or the next part of our my team career. Whichever one you guys show up to. Have a great day, guys.